Hello, um, my name is Mark Zimmerman. I'm an artist. Uh, I live out in the Black Hills. And we are going to do a little drawing today. Uh, you'll need a few materials. You'll need a sheet of white paper, um, 9 by 12, 8.5 by 11, any kind of white paper will work. Uh, you will need a pencil to start with, and um, maybe an eraser. You'll need a black pen. And I've got a, a black felt tip marker, I suppose, a black felt tip pen, uh, the old flare things. But any black pen will work. And then you'll want, um, you'll want some crayons, too. Um, a pack of eight will work. We're only going to use the basic eight. That's all I have. Um, and uh, colored pencils would work as well. They are just a little slower, and you might end up pausing the video a few times to catch up with those. So, Anyway, um, I said that we would be drawing, but we're really, really what we're working on is seeing. Seeing like an artist. Seeing for an artist starts with concentration, paying attention. It starts with focus. If you want to see, you have to focus. If you want to see, the next thing you have to do is take a look. If you don't look, you won't see. Next part is maybe the most important part, and it's the part that you're kind of tempted to skip in the beginning. And what you want to do is make sure you take a look and then wait. And you're waiting to truly realize what it is you're looking at. You're waiting to truly see how the line curves, where the line starts, where the line stops. What shape is that? So we're going to be looking at lines and shapes and we're going to try to see them before we draw them. Try to realize what they really are before we draw them. Once you realize what they are, drawing is actually really simple. And when you're drawing today and you don't know where you're going, make sure that you stop, take another look, wait to see a little more, draw what you see the way you see it. There's kind of a circle to seeing here. Except for focus. You just want to keep your focus if you have it. And if you lose it, try to get it back. So uh, I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to do a drawing. We're going to draw together. You're going to draw what I draw. And we'll do it over here on this big sheet of paper. Okay? Be back in a sec. And we're back. Uh, try to remember that um, we are working on seeing. We're going to end up with a drawing, but uh, focus on seeing. Make sure you take a look, wait to see before you draw. Draw what you see the way you see it, too. Draw in your style today. I want to start, I'm going to start with a big fat marker. You want to start with your pencil so that you can erase if you need to. I'm going to use a big marker so that you can see um, what I'm doing out here. And I'm going to start by kind of keeping track of a few things. I want to keep track of the middle and um, I think I'm going to put a great big dot there. You can put a tiny speck of a dot. I'm going to have a great big dot so that it's easy for you to see. You can put a teeny speck of a dot in the middle of your paper. Put a dot on the top edge in about the middle and the bottom edge, bottom edge and about the middle. Three dots. Now let's put a dot on the left and right side, right on the edge, in about the middle anyway. Again, my dots are way too big. And the dots are really not part of the drawing. They're just kind of helping us know where we are. Where's that center vertical axis, where's the horizontal axis, where's the middle, where's the left side, where's the right side, where's the top half, where's the bottom half. Okay. So I'm going to look at a picture today and we'll draw it one line, one shape at a time. That is how you have to do this. You can only draw one line or one shape at one time with one pencil or one pen anyway, right? So don't get uh, too far ahead of yourself. I'm going to start with a C curve that makes a shape and it's down here at the bottom. 
Normally I like to start in the middle, and we'll come back to the middle pretty quickly here, but I'm going to start down here. Uh, a C curve. Take your time, see it before you draw it, and draw it in your style. You're not trying to get a copy of this. No one cares if you're a copy machine. They care if you're an artist. All right, another C curve. This one comes up just a little more than halfway from the bottom to the middle. So it comes up about that high. Don't go up too high. Starts over here. Just a C curve. A little bigger C curve than the last one. And when I say a C curve, I mean it just curves one way like the letter C. Sometimes we'll have a line that curves one way and then the other, like an S, and we'll call those S curves. And we'll have a few straight lines in this too. All right, another C curve. This one curves a little sharper. Watch to see where this ends. You want to know a couple things. You want to know where every line starts, where it stops, what it does in between. All right, another C curve. Kind of building C curves here. And I'm just going to come back with this. So, I said we draw one line at a time, and I already drew two at a time. Draw one line, stop and look, wait to see the next line, draw that. Then I think we should find a spot that's a little bit above the center, not very far above, and in a little ways, spot about right here. You could put a dot there if you like, you don't need to. But that is where we're going to start this line. Curves like this. Ooh, big long line. Make sure you see where it ends. And when you're done with that, we're going to come back. This, this first step is actually pretty simple, so I'm going kind of fast. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video and catch up. Not a problem. You need to draw at your speed. It's not fair to ask you to wait and see before you draw and ask you to stop and look and wait to see a little more. If I need you to stop and wait, I can't go too fast without letting you pause the video. A broken line, and it's straight, comes straight down the middle of this shape. Mine curves a little bit off to the top, doesn't it? So do a broken line, let your pencil skip along. And then a straight line, another straight line. Touches this line almost, maybe not quite Take your time, stop and look when you're not sure where to stop. So if you're going along and you're not sure, take another look so you know where to go. Little line slants back down. Hmm. I said we'd draw an S curve and we're going to draw one now. Just a little S. Curves one way and then curves the other. Little C curve, curves just one way, barely curves. Just barely curves. Pretty straight. A C curve with a little straight line underneath it, I'm going to draw them together. It's really one line and another line. A slant, it's kind of the same slant as this line right here. So it's parallel here. 
goes like this. Did you notice that I took another look at that? I was halfway along there and I stopped, looked to see how far I wanted to really go. Stop and look anytime you feel like you're not sure. Okay, C curve. Hmm. I think I want to draw three parts. You might notice that the last part comes kind of straight across. First part slants up, comes across, goes straight across. Take your time. I've got a couple little corners. From each little corner I'm going to put a little line up. But I want to draw a line that's a line of lines. So they're little lines. They go, they follow this curve right here. They just go right here. And they're little lines. And they parallel this line here. Okay. Just below the top of that corner, down just a tiny bit. Same angle as this, same slant. Comes up and down. So two lines, really. A little curve. Hmm. I'm going to go just above the dot in the middle, I think. You might be a little below the dot in the middle. As long as you're kind of in this neighborhood, you're okay. Draw it in your style. All right, I'm gonna curve this way and back the other way, an S curve. Let's come down from this corner, down a little ways, draw a little line that slants, and then bends a corner comes down until it stops, uh, stops when it hits something. It might hit this, it might hit this. Somewhere in here it's going to stop. A line parallel to this little line. And then an S curve. Hmm. So, I want to go from here, halfway to the top of my paper, and just a teeny bit to the left, so above about here, halfway up to the little, little left of this corner, and up about halfway, find a spot about there, and I'm going to draw, it's kind of like a, the shape of a Hershey, Hershey's Kiss. So it's actually made with an S. Watch. Curves one way. And curves the other. Take your time. Take a good look at that shape before you try to draw it. And draw it the way you see it. Little line right there. About as short as you can make it. Going to the left of that. Uh, in fact, it goes over till it's above about right here. So. Straight across. A little C curve here. And then a curve that goes right into the curve of the Hershey's Kiss shape. Watch this.
a line that's just a little bit shorter than this line starts here, comes to the right this time, comes out here. Just a little bit shorter. Line down. Not a very long line. And a curve. Hmm. Ovals, a shape we have a name for. I made up a name for that one, didn't I? We don't really have names for those or this or this. Those are all shapes we don't have names for. Here's a shape we do have a name for. It's an oval. And there's another one right here. Don't think about what we're drawing. Just see. Don't think. I'm going to find this little curve right here. It actually comes down a little bit farther. And then I'm going to skip a bit. I'm going to draw an S. Wait till you see the end of this, because that's where the S is. Wait to see. Starts right here. Still curving one way, still curving one way, and then right at the end curves the other. See the little S at the end where it curves the other? It barely curves. Little things that barely do some, anything are harder to see than big things. So give yourself, uh, give yourself a chance to see that little thing. All right, let's go over here. Little curve. Straight across from that little curve over here. You probably know what we're drawing. That's okay. Don't think about it. I haven't thought about it since I started. C curve. Pretty flat in the middle. A little curve under that. Kind of parallel, not quite. And then come straight down here, through here, should get to a little line right here. Okay. Let's draw a C curve. It's, we already have part of it right here. We're going to finish this C curve. Our surfer dude is kind of kind of funny looking. That's okay. If you have a funny looking surfer dude that you're building on your paper with your pencil, that's good. A little bent line comes this way and bends. A little line out of the middle of the bend, back like that. Hmm. Now a line I really like a lot, and you cannot get this line wrong. We're going to end out here somewhere. And we're going to start back here on this C curve. Start there, end out here somewhere. Have some fun with this. Do it in your style. Don't worry about mine. If you go off your paper, that's okay. I went off my paper, that's okay. <laughs> that's a shaky line. Have some fun with shaking your hand. I'm going to come back. Well, maybe I'll start here and end out there again. I'm going to come up a little bit, though, and then across. Watch. So up a little bit, and then a shaky line across. Have some fun with that one, too. Let's follow this line. This S curve comes up here. In the photo I'm looking at, or the picture I'm looking at, these next two lines are straight. But I think I like kind of wiggly. Right above here. 
and right here. So you can go straight, you can go wiggly, you can do bumps, whatever you want to do. You're drawing, you're surfer dude, you do what you want. So I need to get three things in before I get to the edge of the paper, and I'm not going to get to the edge, watch. Short line, slant, straight across with a little curve at the end. Don't think, just draw what you see. Thinking will mess you up. You'll end up drawing what you think you're supposed to see. Instead, just draw what you see. It's a lot simpler. Uh, line that goes out, curves around, comes back. Watch this. Out, curves around, and back. Out, curves around, and comes back a lot. Out, curves around, comes back. Quite a lot. And then a shape I like. You might like it too, maybe you don't. I don't care. In the cartoon world, there are always only three fingers and a thumb. Don't ask me why. Little line up, kind of parallel to that. Little line across, kind of parallel to this little guy here. This does not touch anything at the end. See where it stops? C curve, just like a C. C curve. I'm going to start here and go up this time. Our surfer dude has a massive chest. Let's draw that next. Just a line down and across, a little L-shaped line. And a line across. And then he's got a little tummy. This is just a little straight line with a curve on the end. Watch. Okay. All right, a little left to do. Keep your focus. Let's start right here. Let's go out and curve up. A little curl on the end, too. Kind of parallel to this, and then curls around a little more. So parallel, past it, and curls around. Take your time. Stop when you're not sure where this ends. Here's a shape. This is a shape I like a lot again. One last line. That's our surfer dude. So, you um, are going to stop the video now and take your time and trace all your pencil lines with your pen or your flare marker or whatever you want to call it. Anything black works pretty well. Turn all your pencil lines into black pen or marker lines and if you want when you're all done tracing everything, every line we drew, except the dots, you can erase those and leave them gone. When you're done tracing, if you want, you can erase any lines, pencil lines that you didn't, uh, didn't need. And in fact, you can move a pencil line if you want to change something at this point. So I'm going to take a little break. When we come back, um, we'll add a little color and we'll uh, work a little bit on the background too. Okay? So take your time tracing. Do a nice job. 
So you traced all your pencil lines, you erased any pencil lines you don't want uh, if they stick out too much. If you don't erase, um, those pencil lines really won't show. We're going to come back with crayons now and cover them up anyway. Um, we're going to start with yellow, partly because yellow is really kind of hard to see. Um, and then uh, I think we'll do a little violet or purple. And then I'm going to come back to yellow, so don't lose your yellow crayon or colored pencils if that's what you're using. There's the uh, picture I was looking at. We're going to get a little fancier and I think maybe we won't do a purple surfboard. I think we'll do a green one. But, um, and we're going to do fancier color than this. So I'm going to start with light and a yellow crayon. Light shining on a surfer dude. You can see that I'm using the side of my crayon when I draw. So I'm drawing with the side, not the end. Um, it's a little faster. If you feel like your drawing is really kind of small, uh, you might want to use the end to get in those little places. But So light, shining on a surfer dude. Light comes from above, hits the tops of things. So, hits the tops of these fingers. Hits the top of the arm. Take your time. Don't need to keep up with me. You can always pause the video and catch up later. A little light on that shh, on that thumb. A little light on the leg. light on the surfer, or on the surfboard. Uh, oh. A little light, uh, we're just kind of working our way across. A little light on his little pot belly. A little light up here on his chest. A little light on his swimsuit. Touch right here on that corner too. No light close here. Just a little bit down on his knee and then if your calf is like mine it comes back a little bit. Put a little back, back in there too. And I don't know why I'm looking at the picture. We're not doing what the picture does at all. We're artists. We get to do what we want, right? Light on top of those fingers, light on top of the thumb. Light below his smile. Light on either side of his dimple. Light above these little dimples. Little light right in this corner of his forehead. And out here on his chin. And then his big old nose gets some light on it. And then like I said, don't lose your yellow crayon. We're going to come back with yellow, but I want to put some violet purple shadows in next. So if you want a moment to catch up on yellow, you can pause the video. If you're ready for violet or purple, we're going to go ahead. Shadows. If we have light shining on everything, then we have shadows next, right? So shadows. Shadows. We got kind of crazy hair, so they get kind of a crazy shadow. Lots more shadow back here on the left side. A 
purple shadow in underneath his hair, too. On his forehead, underneath the hair, underneath the eyebrows, whatever your eyebrows are like, put a little shadow on them. Little purple shadow here, little purple shadow here. Purple shadow on the nose, too. Let's come back out to these fingers. Little line of purple shadow here and here. Go right over yellow if you have to. You'll notice that yellow and purple make a new color. They make kind of a brown. And we're going to build up layers of crayon the way sometimes painters build up layers of paint. So we're working in layers here. So we have a layer of yellow, a layer of purple here, a little shadow under the nose and under the glasses and under the dimples, under his lip, beside the cleft in his chin, down this side of his face. Quite a bit of shadow in that ear. Okay. Shadow on his leg, on his calf, on his thigh. Again, I'm using the side of my crane, it's a lot faster. We got a shadow here, it's the shadow of his trunks across that whole upper leg, and then down here on the calf, or shin, I guess. All right, one uh, chest and one arm left. It's really the shadow of his chin here. And then a little shadow on the bottom of the arm. You'll notice the light was all on the tops of everything. The shadows are all on the bottoms. It's the bottom of that finger, bottom of that finger, bottom of the last finger, and bottom of the thumb. Uh, all right. Not quite done. Here's a good place to use the side of your crayon. Peel a little paper back if you need to. Putting a shadow in the waves. Shadow in the waves. Okay. I said we'd come back with yellow, and that is what we'll do next. If you uh, want a little extra time on violet or purple, take your time, pause the video, do a nice job, build up a nice layer of crayon. A nice layer of wax, really. So yellow, though, if you're ready. And what I'm going to do is, um, up on his hair, uh, he's a bleach blonde, so, so I'm going to go over the purple. I said we'd build up layers of color. We're going over the purple and over the, the white. Now you'll see that yellow and purple make brown. So that's a shadow in his yellow hair. over all the purple. I'm actually pressing pretty hard on that purple to change it. Take your time, get a nice coat of crayon on him. Okay.
Hmm. I think uh, I'm going to do a little green and then a blue and then back to green. I want to put just a little green here. And here. And then we'll come back to green. Don't lose your green crayon. We've got a blue next. So if you're ready for blue, follow along. Over the purple, over the green, and over the white with the blue. So he's got blue sunglasses. Over the green, over the white, over the purple. Take your time, get a nice coat of color. So the green is really, oh, lost my white highlight. The green is kind of a highlight in the glass itself. And then that's a sparkle of light. Shouldn't have had blue in there. I'm going to shadow on the surfboard too. Hmm. You know, I think I want to do something to the waves with green before I come back with blue. I'm going to put just a little highlight with green. back to blue. So I'm going to change the green and the white and the purple with blue. Going right over them all. Right over the green. Right over the white. And over that purple too. I'm going to press maybe hardest on the purple. Take time. Again, good place to use the side of your crayon. It's way faster. Building up layers of color. Back with a little green and kind of lightly over the yellow, so I'm not pressing that hard. Lightly over yellow. A little harder where it's white. Harder yet where it's blue. Here's our green board. We come back with some orange. And what I'm going to do is get skin and um, swimming trunks anywhere it's white. So there's not a lot of white left, but there's some. I'm gonna, if I get it on the yellow, that's okay. If I get it on the purple, that's okay. I'm just mostly going after the white though.
Oh, I'm way outside my lines. Anybody else outside their lines? That's okay. I drew them, I don't have to stay in. So we don't want him all the same as his suit. Right now they're the same color, aren't they? So I'm going to come back with red and change the suit. Go lightly where it was yellow. Press a little harder where it was orange. Take your time, build up a nice layer of crayon. Pause it if you're a little behind, don't rush. Take your time. Press hardest where it's purple. Oh, way outside the lines again. I win. Just as suit, we're giving him red swimming suit with shadows and highlights in purple and yellow. Building up quite a nice layer of pan. Now I'm going to tone him down just a little bit, especially the purple with the brown on the skin. So I'm going over the purple especially, kind of leaving the yellow yellow. Give him a deep dark tan. Go over the purple. Don't do his sunglasses. Just doing that purple mainly. And then I'm going to try not to forget his legs. Oh, that was his suit. Don't do his suit. Surfer dude. So he's a fun one to build up a little uh, background on too. So when you start to think about a background, take your time. I always say imaginations need three things. They need time, most importantly, space and quiet. Time to dream up cool stuff. The space you need is your own space, so block everything else out. And um, the quiet you need is really kind of quiet inside, so relax a little bit. Get kind of calm, kind of still inside. Think about what you want to draw. Throw some waves in. You do what you want. You do not need to do what I'm doing. Can't have a surfer without a shark, right? At least I can't. Oh, let's see. You draw a little slower. Draw in your style, not mine. Draw what you imagine. Hmm. That might be enough background for me. You can take some time 
really build a background up that's got a lot of interesting things in it. You can throw a little color on your background if you like. So I'm going to start with a little, little purple, put some shadows on a couple things. Shadows. Little blue. I'm going to keep my blue kind of light. So I'm using the side of my crayon and doing it pretty lightly. yellow in a couple places, a little light shining on some little green. I'm not even close to staying in the lines and that's okay. A little brown, dull this down a little bit. Get it out of color I don't use too much, a little black. My shark is kind of gray, so I'm pressing lightly on the black so I get a gray. I'm going to dull down some of that blue. Still staying really light with it. I'm going to put some streaky clouds up here. Come back with a green. and break your green. When you feel like you're done, probably should find a place to put your signature down. I usually just put my first, my la the first letter of my last name is Z, um, and then an apostrophe 20 for the year 2020. You sign them the way you normally sign things. I think I'm going to put it right in here. There's a Z 20. That's our surfer dude. Hope you had fun. I did.